Excellent. All right. So um, today we're doing 4E and 4F. And 4E is about cubics, 4F is about cortex. And the reason we're doing them together is because they just flow on really nicely from one another. Um, so this will be the last thing that we have to go through. So what I'd like to point out is the table we've got at the top there, and that's talking about the different types of factors we can have for a polynomial. So if we have x take a, that's where it's going to just cross the x-axis. All right, we say it crosses the x-axis or it cuts the x-axis at a. If we have x take a squared, that's when it touches the x-axis at a. All right, so we're familiar with that from quadratics. Now we're introducing two new ones to you, is if we have x take a to the power of three, it crosses, but we have what's called a flat cross, where it goes horizontal. It's sort of really close to the x-axis where it crosses at that point. And then if we have x take a to the power of four, we have a flat touch where it's really sort of squashed in. So we're gonna look and try and identify those. In our three examples here, all it's doing is cutting the x-axis here, here, and here. Uh, and we have a y-intercept of three. So because it's cutting the x-axis here, that means they're the roots, right? They're the roots are minus three, one, and two, which means the equation of this polynomial is gonna be y equals a times x take minus three, x take one, and x take two. All right, so if these are the roots, then the factors are x take a, right? If a is a root, then the factors are x take a. Um, so we'll just simplify that. x plus 3, x take 1, x take 2. And then just like we did with quadratics, we need to determine what's the value of a. So we can't use these three bits of information because we've already used them. We need to use any other piece of information. we we'll go with this one. When x is 0, y is 3, the y intercept is 3, so we'll put, yep, put that in. And when I, when I do that, like I'm at a stage, and you'll, you'll be at that same stage as well, where you don't even put, it, put in 0 plus 3, 0 take 1, you just know that it's 3 times minus 1 times minus 2. So we'll just evaluate this here, minus three times minus two, positive six. Divide both sides by six and we've got A is half. All right, so the equation of this cubic then is y equals half times the equation of this cubic then you can graph that in your calculator and this is what it's going to look like now the reason I've written it up here is because I just want to do one more thing with this equation um, hopefully you've got enough room I want to fully expand it because at the moment it's factorized it's written in factorized form they're linear factors I want to fully expand it to write it in general form and so the way I'm going to do that is I'm just going to leave this part out in front and I'm just going to expand this one using FOIL. All right, so I'm just going to expand the second two brackets using FOIL. So I'm leaving this one here and I'll expand this bracket. We're going to have x squared, take away 2x. All right, and then take away x and plus 2. And then if we want to fully expand it, now we're going to expand this one. We're going to multiply the x in here and then the 3 in here. And I'm going to do it like we did uh, yesterday and on Tuesday when we were expanding these and we're staggering them. So if I go x times x, that's going to be x to the 3. We're going to have x times minus 3x will be minus 3x squared. And x times 2 will be plus 2x. 
right sides, multiply the x through. Next, let's multiply the 3 through. So we're going to have plus 3x squared. We're going to have take 9x. And we'll have plus 6. So staggering them, I've got x to the 3. We've got the x squared terms. We've got the x terms. And then we've got the constant terms. Um, yeah, there's half out the front. Yeah, good. Be careful. Good. Good, good insight. All right, so all we're doing now is we're going to collect them vertically. So we've got here this half x to the 3. Now we've got 3 at minus 3x squared plus 3x squared. That part's going to cancel. So we've got no x squared term. Um, and then we've got 2x take away 9x. That's going to be minus 7x and then plus 6. All right, and then I'm just going to distribute the half. So, have a look down. What have we done here with all this? All right, we started with this cubic, and we're just saying equals, 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 equals. All of these are different ways of presenting it. Up here, we have it in factorised form. We can clearly see the roots here. Down here, we have it in general form. We can clearly see the y-intercept, right? How did we do it? We had to fully expand. All right, so a fair bit of algebra involved there, um, collecting like terms and expansion. Okay, any questions about that? So we just break it down into the skills, right? We did FOIL there. We did um, our expansion we've been doing, collecting like terms. All right, I'm going to rub that one out so I can do the second one. Does anyone need it up still? Uh, I'm going to rub out this part. That's OK. Take a photo. So looking at this, all right, and we're going to use our table to help us, we can see it touches the x-axis here. And so when it touches, what kind of factor is that? A squared factor. So we're going to have y equals a times, and it's going to be x take minus 1 squared. All right. The root is minus 1, it touches at minus 1, so it's x take minus 1, and because it touches, squared. The other root is 2, and that just cuts the x-axis, it just cuts, which means it's only a single factor, x take 2. Alright, so x take minus 1, but it's squared because it's touching. And x take 2, not squared, because it's just cutting through. So I'll simplify this. x plus 1 squared times x take 2. Now, if you can see it, you can go straight to that step. You don't need the first step, okay? You can jump straight to there. So you sort of get one mark for making that statement. Then we're going to go, all right, when x is 0, y is 4. So we're going to put the number 4 where the y is. And zero where the x is. And just process it.
So we're looking, um, so hopefully that's okay. Um, just quick recap, touches, so it's squared, cuts, so it's a single, and then processing through for A like with the field and the that. Let's move on to the next one. We've got a, what's going on here? It cuts the x-axis, but it's a flat cut. So this is gonna be the third circuit term. See how it goes horizontal at that point? That means it's gonna be that root, but it's cubed. What is that root? Zero, so it's like x takes zero, cubed, let me write that quickly, sorry. Y equals A times X take zero cubed. And then we have here just the standard cut X take two. All right, so hopefully we can clearly see the difference between these ones. Here it just cuts straight through. Here it's a flat cut because it goes horizontal at that point. Now here I have X take zero. I'm just gonna simplify that. That's the same as X, isn't it? X take zero is the same as x. We don't need to write as x take zero. All right, and we're gonna use some other point. We can't use the y-intercept, that's not gonna tell us anything. We have to use this point up here. We've got where x is minus one, y is positive three. All right, so we'll put that information in. We'll have three where the y is. We're gonna have minus one where the x is. Now we have minus one to the power of three. Okay. So that means minus one times minus one times minus one. All right. Minus one times minus one is positive one. And then when you multiply it by minus one, it is negative one. So here's the rule though. Minus one to the power of an even number, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, will always be positive one. Minus one to the power of an odd number will always be a negative number. So minus one to the power of three, five, seven, nine will always be negative one. Here we have minus one to the power of three. So that's gonna evaluate to minus one. And here we have minus one, take away two. If you're at minus one, you take away two, we're gonna be at minus three. Three equals three A, A is one. So therefore, This is going to be a nice, easy one to expand. All right, so we've gone ahead, we've found the equation of this polynomial. You can graph this, you can graph this. It'll generate that exact same graph on your calculator. Um, notice how, yeah, once we've got the value of a is 1, we don't need to write, we don't need to put the number 1 out front. We've got 1 log of x to the power of 3. Uh, and so this is a cortic. How do I know? The highest power is 4. Very good. All right. So like we did with quadratics, when we're presented with a worded problem, if it helps, you can graph it. So we've got here, consider the polynomials uh, and hence graph. Cuts the x-axis at two, minus two and three, and has a y-intercept of minus 24. So if you're gonna sketch that, just roughly, cuts the x-axis at positive two, minus two, and positive three, and it has a y-intercept of minus 24. All right, so the only way we can possibly have that occur is if it's going like this. It's gonna have a shape, something like that. Two, minus two, uh, minus two, positive two, and three. Now, you don't need to sketch the graph of it, all right? You can just go straight to, okay, the roots are x take minus two, x plus two, I'm sorry, x take positive 2, x take 2, and x take 3. Alright, 
So if it helps, sketch the graph. If not, just jump straight to this step. And we have to use some other piece of information, which is the y-intercept. Y-intercept of minus 24, when x is zero, y is minus 24. Okay, that simplifies to positive two, by the way. Two, minus two, minus three. Two times four, 12. So, and then just process it through, I'll give you an opportunity to scribble it down. So, three roots, it's going to be a cubic equation. Three linear factors. Um, yeah. Alright, on to the next one. We've got touches the x axis at minus 3 and positive 2. So I'm not going to sketch the graph this time, I'm just going to leap straight into the equation of it. Touches the x axis. Okay, which factor does that have to be? Has to be this one, right? x take a squared. So it's going to be x take minus 3 squared. Right, touches at minus 3 and touches at 2. So it's going to be x take 2 squared. Uh, a. Always have the A out the front, the dilation factor. Simplify it. And it passes through as a y intercept of 36. Plug that information in. This one's going to be a quartic, okay? A squared factor times a squared factor gives you to the power of four. Um, so if it's touching twice, we can expect a quartic. Really good. All right, so hopefully that's making a bit of sense. Um, we're not doing all of the questions. We'll just follow the checklist at the front. Uh, start with question two and four here. All right.